Okay, Mike Bullock, my big fan, Dennis. And he says, please tell me what other kinds of places you can be in the game after you die. Well, most, I'm not going to be in this game at all. Um, I, I call this the game, and when I die, I'm leaving this game, for sure. I'll either be in 5D and leave, or I'll die and leave, one of the two, and I'm not coming back. This game's not for me. It's not my kind of thing. Um, it's very, very, very deeply, densely physical, and on the other side, as I say it, on the other side, I am more an energy being, and what kind of, what other kind of games are there? Oh, my God, there's like infinite upon infinite upon infinite, more than you can even imagine, but most of them are not... Yeah, this this deal of time space and amnesia that's very unique to this game i don't know of any other games that do that not to this extent um this was a very unique game to see if a god could come down and forget they were a god so on the other side most of the thing you can remember or you can understand is you don't forget who you are you know exactly who you are and you can move in and in and out of the games at will so you can jump down on a uh, on a on a game that was okay think avatar but there's no killing and there's no humans trying to you know mow everything down um that's very much avatar is very much like a planet actually a whole area that's like that that they're very much aware of it and they can move within their bodies it's just easier a lot more um, magic. Magic is what you would think of whenever you went outside the game and you saw all these other games that you can get into. That's what you would think of. As a human, you would think they were very magical. Um, me, I deal with mostly energy places and um, humans are just not very attuned to energy. Um, Y'all are very confused by it. So it would be extremely difficult for me to explain what I love to do the most, but what I love to do the most is manipulate energy on a big, big scale, a huge scale. So, um, you would see it as, uh, maybe if you saw a picture of a galaxy and didn't look closely at the galaxy, just the galaxy from a far, far away and how it swirls and it, how it's got a lot of color. And if you were to add music to that, Maybe that would give you an idea of what I like to do on the other side, sort of. Um, that's about the best I can explain. As far as, um, on the other side, more physical things, again, they would be more magical. There would be more um, creatures that look very different than you. Um, bipedal people or characters that rule things are not the norm on the other side in other games. There's all kinds of shapes and figures and sizes and um, different ways of being that would be very different and foreign to you um, out in the other side in all these different places. Um, they like to do, there are a lot of creators that like to create games that are um, the same color. So all in gold, every every imaginable variation of the color gold, and it's way way more than what you can even fathom. And yeah, you can do that. And and blue. And I've met some people that were actually from the gold and the blue places. That that's what they consider home. That's their favorite place to be. So um, it's usually easier for me to find out where you're where you consider home if you chose one of those where they're all one color uh they're beautiful by the way absolutely beautiful but they are semi-physical they're a lot more energy than what it is here because it's so dense here but it's not nearly as dense in the other places this is about as dense as it gets that i know of anyway and it's getting denser all the time so yeah that's uh my attempt at explaining what i would do on the other side okay it's just for you, Dennis, because it's so hard for me to explain what the unexplainable. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support with PayPal and Patreon and sessions. You have no idea what that means to me. Makes all the difference. I cannot even tell you. 
Thank you for watching these videos, and thank you so much for your comments. It, uh, yeah, it's amazing that you're all out there. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.